Joy invests a total of $12,000 in two accounts paying 10% and 4% annual interest respectively. How much was invested in each account if after one year the total interest was $750? All right, so we want to keep in mind is our interest formula is I equals P times R times T, principal times rate times time is equal to interest. So I, I believe making a table for this helps. Four rows, four columns. And we have, um, you know, account one and account two. And I is equal to P times, oh, I need one more, times R times T. So we need five columns and four rows. All right, the principal in both accounts was $12,000. So I'm going to put $12,000 here and what I'm going to call the total column or row. And the total interest was $750,000, I mean $750. The uh, rate for one of them was 10% or 0 0.10 and the other one was 0 0.04. 4%. And this is uh, a year for both of them, so we just put one year, the total time um, for both of them. Uh, it's just one because we're talking about this was going on at the same time. So we really don't even need the time column because one times anything is just itself. Um, so let's see how to deal with um, the rest of it. Uh, so since principal times rate is equal to interest, I don't know how much she put in with the first account, but I know whatever she put in one account, I would subtract that from 12,000 to get the other one. So say for instance, she put uh, 2,000 in one account, in the first account, then she must put 10,000 in the other because they have to add up to equal 12,000. So algebraically, we let you know the unknown amount be x. The other unknown amount would be 12,000 minus that amount. To get the interest, I multiply. See, p times r is equal to i. So this would be 0.10x. And 0.04 times 12,000 minus x. Let's see if I can squeeze all that in there, just barely. All right, now I'm ready to make an equation. I have enough to do that with. My equation is going to come from the interest column. What I have is the interest in one of them is 0.10x plus the interest in the other one, the 0.04 times 12,000 minus x is equal to 750. It's a fairly easy equation to solve, but I need more room. All right. So uh, distributing, let's see, we get 0.10x plus 0.04 times 12,000 is 480, and then minus 0.04x equals 750. These two go together, I get 0.06x plus 480 equals 750. And then subtracting 480 from 750 is uh, 270, so 0.06x equals 270. Divide both sides by 0.06, and I get that x is 4,500. So what that means is, uh, in one account she put $4,500, in the other one, well, the other one would have been $12,000 minus $4,500, which is $7,500. So one account had $7,500, the other one $4,500.